Ableism is the widespread assumption that disabled people are inferior to non-disabled people. We're not inferior, but that's the assumption that's embedded in our culture. I prefer real hugs to tight tags. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are probably wondering if you're deaf blind, how are you communicating? So, to access information around me, I use one of my strongest senses my sense of touch. And I'm using a computer here that has braille on the bottom. I run my fingers over the dots and feel the letters. And that's how I access books, documents, and I use mainstream computers like iPhones and, and laptops to access email and websites that are accessible. There were two friends in Italy, one blind, one sighted. And these two friends wanted to exchange letters. This was back before email, back before even braille. And if a blind person wanted to write a letter, they had to dictate it and someone else would write it down for them. These friends couldn't do that. They had to keep their letters secret. They were love letters. They use this as a design challenge. Hmm, how do we make a way to write that doesn't require sight? They developed one of the first working typewriters. And with the typewriter, you can memorize the layout of the keys and touch just by feeling the keys. And type just by feeling the keys. Nowadays, lots of people write letters on keyboards and some of the fastest typists are touch typists. Disability drives innovation. Love also drives innovation. Disabled people are incredibly adaptive we find ways to come up with solutions every time we face a new challenge. One of the things I'm most concerned of is discrimination in the medical field. We've heard of so many stories of disabled people being denied care because of assumptions of our quality of life. So many people assume that my quality of life is awful just because I have a disability. And I don't need to tell you that's not true. <laughs>